This video is going to demonstrate the proper installation of a Climax Series C133 locking assembly. It will also be applicable to our Series C123, C170, C192, and C193, all of which are single taper, two-piece units of a similar design. At the factory, these products are immersed in ordinary petroleum oil and are wrapped in VCI anti-corrosion paper, which prevents oxidation both in transit and in storage. Prior to installing them on any shaft, the shaft should either be cleaned and or coated with a light ordinary petroleum oil. It's important that uh, no synthetic lubricants or oil with uh, EPA additives or any kind of anti-seize compound are used as these contain molybdenum disulfide, which is an extreme pressure lubricant and will adversely affect the torque capacity of these devices, so ordinary petroleum oil only. Prior to installing these devices, make sure that they are in the relaxed position and that the inner ring flange and the outer ring are parallel with one another. Quite often when installing these, you can run into trouble in that the tapers want to begin to engage and expand and fight you installing it into the hub bore. So what, what we can do is take out two or three of the locking screws, install them into the adjacent jacking holes, and just lightly tighten them. And what that does is prevent the tapers from engaging and having, this, having the device fight you into the hub bore. Installing the locking assembly into the hub bore, it is important that the flange face is brought up against the, uh, tightly against the hub and I am going to select one of the screws immediately adjacent to the slit. First I'm going to snug them all up against the flange face and I'll usually start with either an Allen key or a hex bit on a uh, ratchet wrench because it's a little easier than working with the torque wrench. I am going to begin to take quarter passes at the screws. After several passes of using the wrench, I'll now take the hex bit, switch it over to my torque wrench. Now the torque wrench has been preset to 105% of the specified tightening torque value that can be found in the catalog, on our website, on the label, on the box, and also on the installation instructions. Okay, picking up on the screw that I left off on, I'm going to continue to make my quarter turn pulls until the torque wrench clicks. In this particular instance, uh, instance it indicated it's achieved 105%. At this point, I am going to make two more passes of this locking assembly, hitting each screw twice at the 105% over torque. Okay, I have now made my two passes at the 105% over torque. I'm going to take my wrench and set it back down to the specified tightening torque. At that point, I am going to go around and I am going to check each screw and see that they're all at the specified tightening torque. At that point, the locking assembly is fully installed and there's no need to have to go back at any point in time and check the tightening torques of the screws. If you have any questions or problems with removing any Climax KLD, contact our KLD application engineers who will be more than happy to assist with the tips and tricks of removing these units.